Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to QParent Connection. You are here because you want to learn how to do the online first day packet. If you know your PIN and password, go ahead and enter it. If not, click on the need your login information. Here you will enter your email address. When you hit submit, it will send it to you. Or if you get the error, please contact your student's school for further information on being signed up for Parent Connect. Go ahead and enter your PIN and password. At the top, you'll notice a red link that reads Online First Day Packet. When you select that link, there are a few steps you need to take. First, update your own information by clicking the Edit button here at the top right. The highlighted areas are things you should check. For example, if your email address is incorrect, go ahead and change it. Whenever you make a change, you'll notice it says Updates Pending at the top. When you've made all the changes you wish to make on this screen, please click Submit. Next, you need to update the information for your student. There are three steps to this process. The student address confirmation, updating your emergency contacts, and finally, the student update. Let's begin. Here, ladies and gentlemen, you simply look at your home address. If it's not correct, mark no and click download and read to get the form to update your information. The form is available here in both English and Spanish. You will need to fill out the form and bring this information to the school. All of these items here can be used as proof of residency. Regardless of which choice you make, yes or no, once you have finished, please click Submit. Next we have emergency contacts. It's important that we have on record other authorized adults the students can be released to when you, the parent or guardian, can't be reached. So I need to add some emergency contacts. Let's go with some people who I can really trust. How about Diana Prince? And let's pretend her phone number is just a generic number. And it's a cell phone. And she is a, hmm, let's go with a friend or neighbor. And let's add another emergency contact in this one, Clark Kent, who also has a cell phone. And in this case, maybe he is a Oh, let's just call him an uncle. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, people that we can reach out to when you can't be reached. Now, at any time, you can update this list by using the X to remove a contact or by using these arrows to rearrange the order they are in. So to reorder them, I simply click and hold and drag to a new position. When I'm ready, of course, I once again hit submit. So here we are in the final step, the student update. This information here at the top is important to read. Complete all required fields, make any needed changes, and some things like health have to be updated every year. When you're done, you once again click the submit button up here. So this is the primary phone number the student should be contacted at, or we should reach out to you regarding the student, the first number we should call. This question must be answered. Is the parent or guardian a full-time active duty member of the armed forces? Here you also have a chance to add medical information, both on insurance and on medications given here at school. As always, you can click the download and read to get the official form needed to allow for medication to be given to a student at school. You can also list medications online here. If you choose add, it lets you choose what kind of medication issue you have what method it is given, the name of the medication, etc. Please fill out the form completely and accurately. As you continue down the page, you will notice other items that are important for you to download and read. Sometimes there are check marks for you to review. Once you are down to the very bottom, residency information 
is required. Your number of years at your current residence, what type of residence you live in, and is the student in foster placement. Finally, at the end to complete the process, you need to put your same name used as a digital signature that you are on the records for this login. Once you have entered that name, click the submit button at the top left. Although there is no change here visibly on the screen, you will be sent an email confirmation. If at any time before the deadline has closed, you wish to change the information, you can once again hit the edit button to return to any step in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video about using Q Parent Connection to complete the online first day packet. Have a great day.